what I'd like the community to know first and foremost is that I'm tapped in to the community. And what I say that is, I speak as a former YRDSB school student. I'm very well versed within the community um, in terms of lived experience. I've navigated the system as a student and now I'm navigating the system as an adult and then as an employee. You know, myself, I'm a first generation Canadian, um, born to immigrant parents. And, uh, you know, through that experience, um, you know, I, I feel that I'm well able to relate to many of our students and families who, who share that experience with me. You know, from a very early age, I had a passion for equity and, and helping and, and uplifting my community. My heart is in community. I've, I've run food banks. Um, I've worked for various community organizations. And so my passion and my work has always been bridging the gap between communities and schools. In my role um, as a graduation coach, I work to I work with students uh, first and foremost to advocate on behalf of students. Um, that includes identifying any individual or systemic barriers that they may face um, on their pathway towards graduation, and really building that bridge between the student and the school. We are working specifically with Black students who identify as Black within the school board. Um, right now, we are facilitated within secondary schools. This often looks like uh, setting up one-on-one -on -one meetings, for example, setting up small group conversations, and really creating a safe space for students uh, inside of schools. As a community partnership developer, or CPD, as I'll, I'll say moving forward, um, you wear a, a number of hats, and uh, in particular with the regional portfolio that I do have supporting our self-identified Black uh, students. Oftentimes I'm connecting with students, families, and, and administrators to um, help provide a culturally informed perspective of decisions that might be happening at a school level. Recognizing the importance of lived experience when we are um, helping our students and families navigate our school system. I think the community's involvement is important. One of the things that we are doing as grad coaches um, and other colleagues is establishing what's called a, a Black Student Success Network. And that is literally also building a bridge between the school board and the community. I think it's essential because we need to center their voices. We need to hear from their experiences. A lot of YRDSB has done a great job in including the community partners thus far, which with, for example, the creation of um, the anti-Black racism strategy that, that we'll be launching soon. Um, but I think there needs to be uh, continued and increased collaboration. Community is where our children are going uh, after they attend our schools. It's the homes that they're going back to, uh, the neighborhoods that they're living in. And uh, community plays a vital role in the development of all of our young students. Celebration of Black excellence is, it's a wonderful thing for hundreds of years, the story of slavery, um, a deficit lens, you know, the victim versus the victor has been uh, related to the Black community. There's a lot of greatness. There's a lot of excellent contributions that are coming from Black bodies in all areas. You know, we're not just talking about um, music or arts or athletics, you know, that, that, that's great. But we're talking about math, science, engineering, technology. The time has come for us to recognize the greatness of the con contributions of the Black community to society as we know it today. Providing these supports is really expanding or coming into our understanding of equity. And oftentimes it's just really being in their corner, being a cheerleader for them and saying like, you can do this. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. Uh, how can I support? York region is wide. It's a very big municipality. We have a lot of ground to cover and we have black students everywhere. Um, a lot of whom are hurting. Maybe they're not sharing that with people, but it's manifesting itself in other ways. I think if this role is implemented across the board, we begin to see the change that we want to see. If I could speak directly to our Black educators and students, know that you are valued. Know that you are appreciated and that there are people within our, our, our school board who, there are many people within our, our school board that are working to uplift and affirm 
your identity and your experiences. I think that we need to push forward and continue to collaborate with community. Um, and overall, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to um, continue working with an uh, incredible team that we have in um, Inclusive Schools and Community Services Department. I look forward to collaborating with other educators. And I encourage anyone that um, is looking for support and feels that they could benefit from the support of the Black Student Graduation Coach, um, I encourage them to reach out um, and let's continue to build and, and work together for our, for our students.